What is going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. A lot of people know this company because they made the Dead Rabbit. They also did the Jammy with Ambitions Vapor, the Hell Vape Aquitas. They also did that, oh my god, what is the name of that tank? The Iron Maiden. They're, it's not really a huge company, one of the smaller companies. I'd really put it out there that the Dead Rabbit kind of made Hell Vape who they are today. Now we're looking at a device that, honestly, listen, I'm going to get agitated with this. I'm just going to tell you right now. This is one of these devices that almost make me not want to do this review because it's the same shit that we're used to seeing time and time and time and time again. That to me drives me fucking crazy. You could change one thing and make it that much better, but instead you want to use what everybody else is doing. It's kind of ironic. I was watching a show the other day and they were like, well, that just looks like every other deck and that's what it's becoming there's absolutely no reason why you can't change up a post configuration for a single call or even a dual call situation this guy Dunkin Donut vape I I don't know du Dunkin du Dunaki Sharukin I, I you know I don't I don't know how to say the guy's name so I'm sure I'm going to get that hate from that country that's respective to where he's at as a reviewer. I just don't know who he is. And honestly, I'd be ashamed to know who he is after he came out with this. It's not like it's a piece of shit, but it's just like everything else. It's I'm kind of spoiling it right now because it, it, it really it's making me sour in my panties. You know, it's, it's giving me the old curd situation. What we're talking about is the Anglo RDA by Hell Vape and Dukin, Dukin, Dunkin, Dunkin, Dunkin Donuts, Dukin, Dama Sutra, I think that's Kama Sutra. There's not even anything on the outside of this that says who it is, but I know for a fact this is with somebody else. I don't know who this reviewer is. Honestly, I really don't care, just because I'm not impressed with this device. I almost don't want to bring it down because it's something we've seen a thousand times before. So without further ado, let's flip it. Put your deck in my hand. All right, guys, so what we're looking at, this is the Anglo RDA by Dukin, Dukin Vape. I wanna say that's pronounced Dukin Vape or Dukin Vape. I'm, I'm really not sure whatsoever. Facebook, Instagram on one side, the name of the dripper and the color configuration as well as UPC and I guess somewhat of an ID slash serial number. This is the same company that was put on the block just because of Heathen. Whether or not they wanna agree with that, that's what it is. No one else would have ever heard about this company aside from the Iron Maiden to buy any of their products. They're becoming the Vandy Vape now. They did it with Heathen, they did it with Ambitions, they did it with Dunkin' Donuts. Then on the bottom, you have a scratch and sniff. This is going to be a flavorless chocolate. Basically, it is supposed to be chocolate, but it tastes like nothing. Maybe before I bought it, I should have really looked at the deck, but I didn't because I thought it was just going to be another new type style device. It's not. It's not. The only thing that's really new with this is the way that the airflow is adjustable on the side, the drip tip, and the chimney itself. The deck and everything another deck inside the box on the bottom you're going to get another airflow control ring so if you don't like this one and you want it to be more of a wide set to fit your mod a little bit better this is a good option you also have an adapter some extra post screws a squonk pin some o-rings and that's about it there's no coils no cotton there's not even a manual in this that's good though because i'm always busting balls for there being manuals and devices like this in collaboration with duke and vape Anglo, your serial number here, Hell Vape on the bottom. Again, the airflow is what's unique with this. This airflow ring comes off, and as you can see, it has this kind of heart-shaped airflow. Funny thing is, when you take the airflow control ring off and you inhale it, it's not super loose, but it's nowhere near super tight. It's kind of on the tighter side of a direct lung. But the problem is, is when you put the airflow control on, no matter what setting you use, it really cuts the airflow down. All I'm going to assume is that's because this is at a pitch, at a really nice angle. Do you see how it's still covering up parts of the airflow? It's not fully wide open. So the airflow control could have definitely been worked a little bit better. That's really bad scuff marks. Um, that is not glue, guys. That is not coming off. That is a nasty scuff all the way on the top side of that and on the drip tip. Drip tip on the top is the 810 that's sort of cut in half, half metal, and then the rest of it is Ultim. 
Yeah, I got some really nice gouges on this. On the inside of the drip tip, you have a tapered conical shape. Yeah, I definitely recommend you to clean this before you use it. No doubt about it. And that's really with... Wow, I got really bad scuff marks in this, man. Really, really bad. Wow. Now you're about ready to see why it frustrates me with this. Top cap is definitely different. It's a little unique. Airflow has got nothing to do with the barrel. It's really more set on the bottom. So if you are a pop and drip and paint jammy, this is gonna work really well. This is the deck. Another side clamp. Flathead screws, not spring-loaded. As you bring this up, you'll be able to adjust this and put your coils in. So whenever you do a build on a dripper or a tank, you always wanna have the coil as close to the airflow as possible. Now with this, it's a little bit deceiving. Just because the air ports are a little low set and they kind of go at the top part of where the squonk system is. It is angled though, you guys have to remember that. The same way you see it down here is the same way it is up here. So just picture someone taking a drill bit and going down at an angle. That that's gonna allow you to put one single coil dead smack center. However, be careful that the bottom of the coil is not touching this huge protrusion you got going on here. The only thing that's really innovative with this is the way that the airflow is coming in at an angle. We've seen T-clamps, we've seen C-clamps, we've seen full body clamps, we've seen all this shit that we're seeing all the time is the same situation. Like, it's the same thing. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, and I hate for this dripper to be the blunt force of my dramatic take of how much this stuff has to stop, but it is what it is, man. There has to be a point when we stop and slow down and build something else. In a way, I kind of feel bad for the guy that made this with Hellvape, just because this is my breaking point. It's at the point now where it is 100% official. I can no longer do drippers that are the same shit as the next thing. If you're not changing anything, don't expect people to go out and go buy this because they already have a device like this. Unless, of course, you're a name and you have a name for yourself and people are gonna buy things because of who you are, then granted, by all means, I guess ride that train. I got nothing. Flathead screws. That is unscrewed in order to get your coils in there. You're just going to lift this up and then push that down. Insulator right here, really isolating the whole positive connection. That's innovative, I guess. We're going to be putting one single coil... Um, we're going to be putting one single coil inside of this. And that clamp is stuck. Oh, there it goes. What we're going to be putting in this is a dual 28 core with 40 on the outside. Let's put it together. Surprisingly enough, the machining on this is really, really well done. The problem you run into at this point is you're not really going to be able to lower this too much just because of, well, you have this little nipple or lock situation here that doesn't allow you to bring that down any lower. So a nice little trick I like to do is I'll take an Allen key like so, hook it in, and then bring it down. But keep in mind, yeah, that's about right right there. You really want that airflow to kind of hit it. And you see how it's lower than that nipple? So it's not gonna allow you to go any lower than what those ridges are. I don't know why it's deeply gouged in it, but that is what it is. Once again, that is the Anglo RDA by someone I can't pronounce his name in Hellvape. Let's bring it on the top. Back on the top with the Anglo RDA by Hellvape and Dukin Vape. Sitting on top of the H Cigar VT75C, silver and black. Oh shit. 32.5 watts on a 0.86. Let me show you some of the vape production. Now I know that's a little bit difficult. Ooh. I know that's a little bit difficult for you to hear, and that's because the airflow is that tiny. Really good reference point for the airflow wide open on this would probably be about an eighth. One eighth of the airflow of the dead rabbit is about how much airflow this gets. The funny part is though, if you want more airflow, you take off their beauty ring on the bottom because that little bit of blocking that you're getting really does affect it. Stock beauty ring on the bottom of it or airflow control ring, AFC, whatever you want to call it. Listen. You hear that? Let's do that one more time. See the airflow is wide open, right? Now listen, I'm bringing it a little bit closer. Listen. Let me try to use the other airflow. I, I don't feel like that's gonna change it at all. You know what this dripper reminds me of? The UFO. If you haven't seen that review, I'll post the link right there. Woo. So that's it with the bigger beauty ring on it. Airflow wide open. 
You hear it, it's still tight. Yeah, th this kind of airflow I'm not a huge fan of. And with no rings on it at all, just wide open, looks a little funny, but I feel like they should have included another beauty ring that was just made it, you know, cylindrical all the way across the board and didn't have a bubbling effect or a UFO look to it. Of course, that does look a little bit silly, but now your airflow is wide open. Now that airflow I like, and that's crazy because when you're looking at the airflow of the biggest setting, it doesn't look like it cuts it much, but that little bit of metal that's going over that heart-shaped airflow makes a world of difference. Let's be real, let's go with the pros and cons. First off, the cons, it's just like every other single coil dripper out there. Even if you're gonna put dual coils in this, I do not recommend it because a single coil is not getting enough of airflow as it is. Well, at least for me, it's not. The airflow control ring for the largest port should have been ported out a little bit more. Now you could take that, you could take a drill bit, just spin it through and kind of gauge it out a little bit more, you know, bore it out a half a millimeter and then you're gonna get that airflow inside of that. At least if you're gonna include an O-ring to make it fit on bigger mods, then you should have at least bored that out then do that as well. The only option you're gonna have is to do it like this where there's no airflow control ring. Next con is it's just like everything else, man. Every other single coil situation out there is built just in the same. There's nothing that differentiates this from 95% of other single coils. Number three, the scuffs that are on the drip tip and the metal itself are really, really, really bad. Almost like a chunk out of the metal is missing. You really can't see it there, but it's bad, man. Quality control issue, sure. I, I, there's no way it got like that from inside the box because it's all cushion. I can't ever see me using this dripper, to be honest with you. For the pros, the machining of this is nice. The way that this is shined and polished is nice. The drip tip on the top is nice. The fact that you could douse these coils in juice and it not leak is nice. Cause remember it's angled airflow. So if you put, let's just say two millimeters, not two milliliters, two millimeters in height of juice inside of here, it's not going to leak out just because of the angle. This is really not my style of vaping whatsoever. I'll probably never use this dripper. If I was to rate this dripper on a zero to 10, I'm going to give it a 3.5 or a four. There's really nothing that's significant about this. I do like that the peripheral pouch that it comes with comes with some extra stuff. I kind of feel bad for the guy that made this with Hell Vape because it's like I'm losing my mind and it's not really designed just for him. I want everybody to understand that before you get on the line and start getting defensive saying, oh, that's my buddy, you know, he made this, he's this guy. I don't give a shit. I don't care who he is. I've done this with other reviewers. I've done this with other people, with other companies. There's a point where you have to do something something different and I don't want to hear that you can't do anything different I don't want to hear that because you'll see drippers or tanks time and time again it might be a little bit spread out become innovative if they're doing it with mods there should be no reason that we're not doing it with drippers don't give me the piss poor excuse that you can't come up with anything else don't do it don't wait Wait, mark my fucking words. Put a ticker on this time, on this date. Look back on this when my 22 millimeter comes out. Don't sit there and tell me that you can't change anything. This is the same shit. P put an airflow in at an angle and you're naming it Anglo because of that? And then you got swoops on the front? What are we going with? This looks like ceramic heating wire. And so I just, I can't. I'm taking it all out on this guy. I really am. I just... I, look, I'm being honest. You know, I, that, that's what it's all about, keeping it real. I'm, I, I, I'm taking it out on him because I'm getting sick and tired of the same fucking shit over and over and over again. I almost want to go outside and break this, but I'm not because it's not a severe piece of shit. It's just in my book, nothing that is, isn't already out there. The Wasp Nano did this a year ago, but here we are now with this. Ah, I get it, the argument. Oh, the velocity deck was used over and over and over again, Jay. That was used. Everybody loved that. Well, guess what? We're not here for that right now. We're here for this. And apparently, this is the new situation. Everybody that makes a single coil, put two big ass posts on the side, call it a day. fucking clamp too you could have went with a screw so many other things you could have done to make this different no significance 
Listen, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in the most sincerest way. Duke and Vape and Hell Vape, I apologize that you guys took the blunt of that force. It had to be said. Sucks that it was on your video. I would have done it with any other single call RDA out there that's the same fucking shit over and over and over again. But, you know, you're you're kind of the victim of the situation. Would I recommend this? No, I would not. Nope. Nope. There are a lot of other drippers I would recommend over this dripper. The Frosted Popsicle is a great example. I'm sure that doesn't exist, but give it time. It's gonna look just like this and do exactly the same thing. I don't expect it where you could push a button and the flavor get better. I don't expect it where you could twist it and the airflow can become that much more. Do you want me to give you a drawing? I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, he's out.